our big surprise. We're not only going to our very first play date, but we're also meeting a friend that has Nori disease. Yes, and he's just a couple weeks older than Jensen. Are you excited, buddy? Are you excited? Oh, so excited to meet our new friend. Yeah. Your very first play date, Jensen. I don't know who's gonna love it more, Mama or you. Show me those kicks of how excited. All right, kiddo, let's get going so we can get on the road. Yay! Yay! Story. Jensen got his genetic results back in November 2020. From there, I was looking for resources or families that had Nori disease, and I came across Kelly's family. She's from England, and she set me up with the private Facebook support group for Nori disease. By the end of November, I was commenting on something that Eve posted, and Eve commented on something that I posted, and shortly from there, we just started instant messaging, and then from that, there was no stopping us. It was just so awesome to finally connect with someone that we could totally relate to and 100% understand. It was hard not to click instantly. Our boys are less than a month apart in age. This was our first pregnancy, all of which was happening during a pandemic. We are both from the Midwest area. I'm from Iowa, Eve's from Ohio. And above all, our journey that was about to begin with our new bundle of joy was a lot different than we had originally pictured. Since the end of November, Eve and I have been confiding in one another. She truly is the one person that 100% understands me and always seems to be on the exact same wavelength as me. From highs and lows in physical therapy to thinking our kiddos would at least have light perception and then the sinking feeling when they stop reacting to light. How we felt during the holidays, how we deal with emotions versus how our husbands handled their emotions, the hardships of watching other moms or seeing their picture with their babes, and now the newest struggle of being out and about and having people wave to our kiddos as well as how easy it is for them to become overstimulated, which when he becomes overstimulated, mommy becomes a little overstimulated and overwhelmed, but truly the list could go on and on. We both have said on multiple occasions how we definitely would not wish this on anyone, but how glad we are that we do have each other. Also, the fact that we are so close to each other is amazing. I've talked to people in Europe, I've talked to people in Canada, Texas, Washington, so the fact that we're only states away is probably the most amazing part of all this and most exciting. I always knew we would get together someday, but I was not expecting it to be this soon and was so excited when Eve texted me saying that she was going to be in the area. Eve was flying in with William to see her aunt and uncle in Illinois. She asked me about a date range and I said, you know what, it doesn't matter. I will make something work. It did work out easily. Her aunt and uncle live about two hours away from me, so we decided that we would both drive an hour and meet halfway from there. We ended up meeting in good old Dixon, Illinois, and there's a little cafe there called Baker Street Cafe. So if you're ever needing a quick snack, we definitely recommend it. I got a croissant egg sandwich, was amazing, and Eve had an amazing looking salad. And then from there, we both definitely had our share of sweets and desserts. They had cheesecake and cake and cupcakes and other bars. So if you are ever driving past Dixon, I highly recommend you stop there for a quick snack. My goal was to get there before Eve so I could set up my camera so I could capture us meeting for the first time. But 
naturally the time got away from me during the morning as I was packing up Jensen and getting ready to go so I did not get there early enough but that's okay because I really didn't want to put pressure on our day and have the camera in our face the whole time either. We exchanged a big hug and got to introducing the boys to each other. At least we got a little bit of that footage but otherwise I was really truly expecting myself to tear up when I first met her or when we were talking along the way and I didn't and I don't know if it was just the adrenaline and excitement of meeting them. However, the adrenaline and excitement that carried me through that day definitely came crashing down the next day. I was super emotional all day and came home from work and just bawled. I couldn't even tell you why I was so upset, but I think I'm just so grateful to have Eve and Will in my life and that I'm just super selfish and wish they were a lot closer. To say that our blind date was a success is an understatement. We are definitely planning another get together. Hopefully we do this yearly, if not biannually, and are definitely trying to shoot to get together again before the weather gets cold. Eve is a wonderful mother and I'm learning so much from her and Will, so I'm so glad to have them in my life. But I'm even more excited that Jensen will have a lifelong friend. I know a lot of my friends and family have been keeping up with Eve's blog, but if you haven't heard of it, Eve has a blog called The Life of a Smush Face Mom. Please check it out. It is an amazing blog. I relate to it on so many levels, but it also gives great information about what we're going through as well as good information on sensory toys that are homemade versus bought. So she is an amazing resource. I highly recommend you check out her blog. Lastly, before I show you the video of Jensen laughing so hard at the toy that Will got him, I just want to give a big shout out to Blind Boy Jewelry on Etsy. My friend got me a necklace from her shop and it has Jensen's name written on it, as well as a Braille J on it. Brittany from Blind Boy Jewelry was so amazing to work with and she was able to get me a replica for Eve with William's name on it with a braille W. The boys aren't as impressed with our matching friendship necklaces as we are. And a different Brittany, my friend from back home, made me this wine tumbler for Eve, as well as a badge reel for myself. As far as I know, Nori Disease does not have its own ribbon, so Brittany helped me come up with a Nori Disease ribbon. Blue jean denim equals a genetic disease, zebra print equals rare disease, and white equals blindness awareness. If you're ever interested in something from her, please comment below and I can give you her information. Otherwise, stay tuned for next week when we celebrate Jensen's first Easter and a new tradition we started with his cousins. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys next week and please hit like and subscribe as well as give us your comments below. We'll see you guys later. Let me hold your hand. Take, it. Take that hand again. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha